Hi guys, welcome back to New Space. As I stated in my Q&A video, I really want to become a doctor. And in Belgium, you have to pass an entrance exam for medical school. So in the beginning of this video, I kind of forgot to mention that I passed. In this video, I'll show you my reaction and share my experience with everyone who has the same dream. If you speak Dutch, you can turn on the captions by clicking on one of these buttons. This video was inspired by May's release, so be sure to check out her video too. I will separate this video in a few parts, so these are some time steps. So first, I'm going to tell you something more about what I studied in school. Remember that school systems can be very different in each country. In middle school, I chose the discipline Greek Latin. Then in senior high school, I chose Greek Math Sciences. This means my major subjects were 6 hours of mathematics, 4 hours of Greek, 2 hours of physics, 2 hours of chemistry and 1 hour of biology. Most of my teachers were very good in teaching, so I was very lucky, but there were also a few exceptions. Now I'm going to tell you how the years before the exam went. So I've known for a very long time that I wanted to study medicine. I was never one of the smartest kids of my class, but I had good grades. But when I had a bad test, I started panicking because I thought I would never be able to pass the entrance exam. When I was a sophomore, my grades for mathematics weren't that good. I tried my best, but I wasn't happy with the results. Maybe it was because of me, maybe because of the teacher, maybe a combination of the two, I don't really know. That year was very bad for my self-esteem. I cried a lot because even though my sciences were good, I thought my dream would never come true. Then in 11th grade, I had a new teacher and my study attitude started to change. After every lesson of mathematics, I remade all the exercises we made that lesson. I did this until school became too busy. Repeating the subject matter is the best thing I ever did to my grades. I would really recommend to do it, especially with subjects that you aren't really comfortable with or that you have problems with. Suddenly, I had the same grades as the smartest kids of my class and my self-esteem started to grow again. When I graduated high school, I had a percentage of 82.5. In my school, this means that I graduated with highest honors. <laughs> now I'm going to tell you something more about the tutoring. Two years ago, I saw this poster at the beach. It said something like, math at the beach, perfect for entrance exams, and people with fear of failure. So remember, at that point, I had a low self-esteem, so I thought this would be perfect. It was a summer camp, and to be honest, for the price, it was a bad decision. I chose the extern option, which costed 365 euros. I only learned the chain rule and some easy integrals. I was disappointed. The activities were okay, but that wasn't why I registered. Maybe I should have spoken more and should have said my opinion, but I was shy. It also gave me a fear that all tutoring would be bad. The second kind of tutoring was by the University of Leuven. This one was way better. I had access to videos explaining the matter. This was handy, especially for biology especially a few months before the exam. It also gave me access to theory and exercises. Almost every Wednesday there were like these sessions in an auditorium with a lot of other students. These sessions were short for the amount of information they gave us, so it was hard to process all the information. But it made sure you kept up with the subject matter. I've learned a lot of tips and tricks. I didn't really use this during the intensive week before the exam, but more to prepare in the long term. The price was 120 euros. It's very important to start as early as possible because it takes a while before you find your method. So the past year I spent almost all my vacations on studying for the entrance exam. I went to Barcelona, came home and studied. It's very important to start this early because it takes a while before you really find your method. Sometimes I failed, but then I found a method that worked for me and then I could use that method during the last week. Now I'm going to tell you something more about the week before the exam. After I had three weeks of exams for high school, I had two weeks to study for the entrance exam. Each day I did a different subject. I made a 
a lot of exercises on the site quizzes.be. It has a lot of exercises from past exams, it has very good solutions and also a lot of useful information. If you want to pass, you have to make as much exercises as possible. If you speak Dutch, use this site. In my opinion, it's the best preparation. I should have started using that site way earlier. It would have saved me so much time. I've also learned a lot of theory in this book. I got it from a friend, so thank you so much. It was very handy. It was a very intensive week of studying, but I also made sure I had enough relaxation. I went to some birthday parties, but just for one or two hours. Last year, I participated for the first First time I was 16 years old which means I was too young to get the admission but I wanted to get used to everything so I did have to figure things out during the day of the real exam I'm very happy that I did that I had a lot of water and food with me because I really can't function when I'm hungry the exam went really well I was actually pretty confident it was multiple choice and I found a lot of answers and was pretty sure about those answers 10 days later, I would get the results. So this is the reaction. This. You want to stand? Yeah! I had 170 on 240. Only the 1,150 students of the 6,000 participants could pass the exam. This means that you needed 142 on 240 to pass. And I had a lot of space left. So these are some more tips and tricks that I've mentioned in this video or just new tips and tricks. In school it's important to repeat the subject matter of the subjects of the exam. If you speak Dutch, be sure to use the site qss.be slash kineeskunde. Search for a good textbook that has all the theory in it. Efficiency is very important. The earlier you find your method, the easier it will be to get there. Make a lot of past exams to see what you have to work on. Bring enough food with you to the exam. I hope this video was helpful or interesting and be sure to leave all your questions in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe and like and until the next video. But... So this is a coincidence, but you probably heard the doorbell and my friend just came to my house to give me a present, surviving medicine, the med school years. Most of my teachers, most of my te most of my teacher, mm.